the Joe Rogan experience? Okay. I've got an idea. Okay. I record my special February 7th and 8th. I will, at the end of that special, start gaining weight. <laughs> First one to pass me wins. This I is actually really fun. This, this is on the way down. I love this idea. It's going to be fun. Oh, that's a good I idea. I will eat for real, for real. What? <laughs> 186. Damn, look how slim you are. That's when I met my wife. Damn, you got those fuck handles? <laughs> she signed on for a raw deal. <laughs> yeah, no, it's oh. called a penny stock. <laughs> wow. I will gain weight. Wait, 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 wait. Google skinny Tom Segura. Have you ever seen Tom's jawline? He looks like fucking Magnum P.I. when he was skinny. W seventh grade? Bro, I'm telling you right now, a very, very attractive man. I believe you. Find to skinny Tommy. Where can we find that pic? You know, you know where you can find that. Actually, uh, and then uh, Google fast. Uh, look at, that look at this fucking bastard. guy. Oh Jesus! With, look at his pouty <laughs> lips. Look at you. Wow. His. I yeah. might have gotten a scar and a punch. You like that, Ari? Come on. Handsome I'm standing bastard. up so I can masturbate. Yeah. <laughs> you look good. I only masturbate standing up. You look good back then. Yeah. Who's that guy on the left pretending to be you? Look at that. Who's that fucking guy? Who's that fucking guy? That's a fake you. you Always like get your T-shirt. That's not my shirt. That's Would not my like shirt. By the way, how great is, is that? that title for? Mine. How great is that title for an album? What is that T-shirt? No idea. That title is great. I remember that CD. Thrill was oh. back in the early 2000s, right? Uh, 2010. Oh shit. Yeah. 2010. Look at you. Look at oh, you. That's a good-looking Tom right there. That's the one I fell in love with. Yeah, look at that <laughs> sweetie. <laughs> it can blow in and out. I remember exactly when that was. When was that? That was on Russell Peters' show on Showtime. Uh, you got a fat dimple on your yeah. chin, on your cheek. <laughs> Ooh. 2009. So, the thing about weight loss is if you guys just do the weight loss thing and just get down and wait for a day or a couple days, that doesn't help anybody. No. It doesn't. No. What, it, what if you could keep it off? That's the whole thing. Could the you keep key. it off? What what is your thing? What keeps you eating? Like what is your, what's your your vice? For me, it's pasta, it's carbs. When I when I eat a lot of carbs, it's just like fuck. I can't help myself sometimes. Yeah, I would say it's probably carb related. Like I like rice, bread, mm, pasta, past pasta. Yeah, oh, all I love that. It. Yeah, I love it. Sure. I mean, I'm not a crazy sugar like sweet tooth. Are you a glut? I'm a glutton too. I, I fucking I eat and I'm stuffed and I just keep eating. I, I don't really do that as much anymore. I used to, I used to do that all the. <clears throat> I used to think that's how meals were completed, like every meal. But that's like I would say at my worst. But I don't think I really eat like that most of the time now. Mm. But I don't. You know, I'm not like weighing out everything as much as I should. You know. So you could just cut back your portions. I could, yeah. And you'd probably still be fine. You probably wouldn't feel like you're denying yourself anything. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I always feel. I always feel like, too, like I'll get on a good meal plan, and it's just about the discipline of sticking to it, and mm -hmm. then, you know, start doing it less. Are you weighing What are you doing now? Are you going to go with pee? your clothes on? Yeah, how much sure. did you pee? <laughs> wow. 2.2. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're, you're, I understand my problem with weight loss. I don't understand yours. Yours you, is booze. Yeah, mine's yours booze. Is yours is booze, obviously. You're yeah. not a booze thing, right? No, it's not. But it's more than thing. booze, is that, is that it's the things that booze invites into my life after Pizza midnight. And yeah, like yeah. that, greasy foods. Late night food is rough. But also the, the, the empty calories of booze. Empty calories For of sure. booze seven, is what seven, it is. Seven calories Dude, per gram. You lost like fucking 30 pounds by not drinking. Yeah. What yeah. is yours? Yeah, it's food. Yeah, food. so if you lost 30 pounds from not drinking, you'd be 207. You're on 205's door. You're just knocking at it. Yeah, but I don't know what, like, Tom, because Tom does not, I, like, we, I, we've had dinner a bunch of times. It's not like he's, like, a gluttonous eater. Like he's I just bet like, you oh. have had dinner a bunch of times <laughs> tonight. <laughs> I ate with Ralphie, man, and he would fucking, <clears throat> he would, like, jaw drop you on food. You it was sushi. crazy. It was crazy. He went to Katana <laughs> once, and he ordered, like, every, like everything and then it was like oh that's great we're all gonna eat he goes no no, no that's my order now you guys put in your order dude that's my my the sushi or, the Burt's sushi experience with Ralphie is my favorite story Ugh. because of of the the whole thing is that <laughs> Bert is like you're an opening act at the time yeah it was opening for him and and Ralphie is inviting Bert and his wife 
and like Bert and you know Bert's or Leanne or uh, Ralphie's wife. They're they're all having dinner. Ralphie's paying all the time, like four so, meals, four meals, and they're in Hawaii. No, 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 no. <laughs> right? uh, Ale- 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 oh, sorry, Bahamas. Bahamas, yeah. And then for like one the next night, Bert's like, I'm gonna cover like a respectful thing, you know. You've bought all these dinners. I'm taking you to dinner tonight. And they go to sushi. It's like Ralphie. And Ralphie starts stick. ordering, and they're bringing boats out, like the boats with all the sushi. And, and you guys are jumping in, and you don't realize it's all for him? No, well, no, it's, well it's, it's, he's just ordering no, it like He's just ordering. He's just ordering. But, and I know I'm paying for it, but he's just ordering. He's like, I got this player. And I was like, all right, cool. And he just kept ordering and ordering, and I'm, I'm eating, and I'm drinking. And then keep going. I like you telling the story better it's than just, me. It makes <laughs> me laugh because Ralphie had treated you guys – to like four meals, and then you're just like I pulled. I've, I pull I've the been in this side. position. Bef- yeah. I've been in this position before too, where somebody is like, you know, you you want to be like, you know what? Like I'm a fucking man, and I'm and you're, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy dinner now. Tonight's my night, <laughs> but you're not in a position to take this bill. Oh. So like they bring the bill, and it's a fucking four figure bill. This is a over a thousand dollar sushi experience. Oh. And then you insist on paying, and <laughs> Leanne. Leanne goes, "How much is it?" And I go, "Go fuck yourself." That's how much it is. And she goes, "You don't talk to me like that." And I go, "Go fuck yourself again." Don't talk to me. And Ravi goes, "Ah, oh, play. Should have just let me pay it for it, player." <laughs> and I and she goes, "Why are you talking to me like this?" And I'm looking at like a fucking fifteen hundred dollar bill, twelve hundred, twelve hundred. I think it was twelve hundred dollars or fifteen hundred dollars. I I didn't have the money in the bank account to pay for the tip. But it's like that because I fucking, I think why I, the the story always hits me is because I feel myself doing the same. I would do the same thing. Oh yeah, I would do the oh, same thing. Ralphie was so generous. Like he just yeah. was so generous that you felt I don't I don't want you to think I'm taking advantage of you. I want you to know that I'm your friend and I I want to pay for things too. Mm. Motherfucker. Yeah, I was a bit. So and what then happened? Ralphie goes, Ah, oh, Leanne's irate at me. <laughs> Storms off. Ralphie goes, ah, player, we got to win it back on blackjack. <laughs> <laughs> Took $1,000 out, maybe $2,000 out of the oh, bank machine. No. Go to roulette, put it on black, hits red. Oh. All I remember is uh, we were the couple in the lobby fighting. Like it was uh, so bad, fire, everybody. You can't even like save with the hotel room. And Ralphie walked past mm. me, and it was not a drop in the bucket to oh, Ralphie lose two thousand dollars. And he just saw me fighting with Leanne. He goes, "Oh, Miss Leanne, give him a break. He tried his best. He tried his best. I'll see you on the plane, Playboy." And then Ralphie was on the plane. You know, so the, my whole part of the story that I remember the most, Ralphie read a book on a flight from Miami to L.A. He read the whole fucking book. I've never read a fucking book in five hours. He was like a really, like he read a book. I remember sitting next to him, he read a book. That's the crazy part of the story I remember. No, weird. Damn. He was $1, very $1, generous. And you were broke? Yeah, we were broke, man. You, that's Bert. That's yeah. Bert. I, I like sure. to roll the dice. Yeah, yeah. It's you, know, you don't become a comedian if you don't like rolling the dice, man. I don't think so. You gotta be crazy. You're a comic. You're you gotta a little be crazy. crazy. You have to be. You have to be a little crazy. And if you're not crazy, I don't. I don't. I don't know if I want to know you. 